Friendship Ministries. For those of you who are not familiar with Friendship Ministries, uh, this is a, a ministry that has been going on for decades within our denomination and elsewhere, uh, where uh, people who are differently abled, people those, those who are disabled uh, mentally or physically, are uh, partnered up or paired up with folks uh, who are um, I don't know, normally abled. That's not the right word. I don't know. Neurotypical? Sure. Yeah, that's, that's not bad. Although, yeah, physically typical too. I don't know. Anyways, they, they build friendships, which is great. Um, and there's a wonderful, wonderful relationship there. So um, yeah, uh, that is what the offering is for. We won't collect it, obviously, right now. Like I mentioned, uh, you may uh, put your offerings in the plate, or if you are online, uh, you may continue, of course, to do electronic funds transfer or automatic uh, pre-authorized remittance if you have that set up. Um, so that is uh, wonderful. Also, uh, just a couple things uh, by way of uh, things that, yeah, we want to we wanna pray for. Um, Jeanette shared with me uh, this morning that she is very grateful that she has work, which we praise God for. Uh, it's wonderful. She's driving bus, uh, which is good, but we want her to keep safe. And so far, that is going well, uh, she says, so that's great. We also want to pray for her knees. You may notice that she's walking around with two knee braces. Lucky girl. Um, so we will be praying for uh, Jeanette's knees. Uh, we also, of course, want to be praying for uh, the fires that are going on all along uh, the western United States and the uh, smog it's producing and the lives it's taking and, and all that. Um, we want to also uh, be in prayer for other churches uh, in town and around Ontario. There seem to be a lot of churches that have chosen today as their sort of first uh, back to church um, Sunday. So we want to pray that things would go well with them as well. Let us come before the Lord in congregational prayer. Father in heaven, we thank you so very, very much for bringing us together this morning, whether, uh, again, whether we are here in person or whether we are uh, watching this uh, via the internet uh, later on today or this week. Lord, we pray that you will guide us. Uh, there are a lot of transitions going on right now, a lot of unknowns. Uh, I know that some of the, the public school people, the high school people are heading back to school still this week. And so that transition continues. Lord, we, we pray a, a continual prayer for all of those who are transitioning and navigating very unusual situations. We are also grateful for those uh, who, for whom this whole uh, COVID-19 situation has not really changed that much. We are, we are just so grateful that they can experience uh, that sense of normalcy in most of their lives. And we pray that those who may have been feeling isolated or alone, uh, that, that you would make your presence very known to them. We pray, as always, for those among us who are very ill, uh, who are struggling with chronic illness, who are struggling with cancer, who are struggling with mental or physical or emotional uh, illness. Lord, we ask that you would bless each and every person. Lord, we ask also that not just, that not only would you bless them with your presence and your healing spirit, but also, O oh God, that you would enable us to be a blessing to all of those who are hurting in whatever way. And Lord, that may be very difficult for us to figure out how to do if we can't visit people who are immune compromised, Lord. But please give us wisdom and insight and creativity to know how we may do that. 
Father, we pray for all of the churches in this area who are, who are trying to open up to in-person services. We know that there are a couple in town who have already been doing it for a while, and we know that there are a few more that are opening up today. Lord, we pray a blessing upon all of our brothers and sisters, regardless of their denomination. Lord, we ask that you would guide us all. Lord, that you would help us to love you with all our heart, mind, soul, and strength and to love our neighbor as ourselves in this unusual time. Father, we praise you for work. We praise you for the gifts and abilities you have given each and every one of us. And Lord, we praise you that Jeanette was able to find work. We ask that you would bless her and strengthen her and keep her safe uh, as she uh, buses students uh, during the coming weeks and months. Lord, we pray this not only for Jeanette, of course, but for all those school bus drivers in particular right now. We ask as well, uh, we know <laughs> it is so wonderful, God, that you care for even the smallest sparrow and yet you also care for the largest tragedies of our world. And so, Lord, we lay before you the struggles that are going on in the western United States, especially with all these wildfires going on. Lord, we pray that you would protect lives, that you would send the rains, that you would help the firefighters, <clears throat> that you would enable... <coughs> enable people to be safe. And Lord, as with any situation, we ask that whatever you may be seeking to teach us, we may learn. Lord, not, not that we presume that somehow someone did something wrong or sinful, O oh God. We know that it's part of the broken fabric of this world that is tied to sin in general. At the same time, O oh God, we know that you use, you work all things to the good of those who love you. And so we pray that we would learn. Lord, we pray as well for friendship ministries. Lord, I don't know how exactly they are carrying on their ministries during these days, but Lord, we pray for them. We thank you so much for the, the connections that they build between people who are all very much created in your image and beloved by you. And Father, as we come as we come to your scriptures in the message, we pray that you would guide us and that you would open up our hearts to hear what you would have us hear and teach us that we may grow and praise you forever. In Jesus' name, amen.